Hi everyone, you're on the Clay Camilla channel. Today I'll show you how to sculpt mummy long legs in real life or in X form. While sculpting, I'll briefly talk about these terrible monsters. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. In the horror game Poppy Playtime recently released the first game trailer for Poppy Playtime, the second chapter featuring a new character. Mummy Long Legs, presumed to be the sequel's main antagonist. Poppy Playtime was released for PC on October 2021 and ported to mobile devices earlier this month, immediately drawing comparisons with survival horror icon Five Nights at Freddy's. Set in abandoned toy factory, players must evade detection by the factory's inhabitants. A selection of creepy, vengeful toys that lack in the shadows. Despite being extremely short, taking an estimated 30-45 minutes to beat, Poppy Playtime has been incredibly popular since its launch, especially with fans of the survival horror genre. Due to the first chapter, taking less than an hour to complete, Players have been eagerly evading Five Nights at Freddy's competitor, Poppy Playtime's second chapter. While the Poppy Playtime, the second chapter trailer, doesn't include a release date for the next installment, it's expected to arrive at some point during March 2022. However, the trailer does include the new chapter's official name, Flying a Web, alluding to Mami Long Legs' spider-like design. The end of the poppy playtime. The trailer of the second chapter provides a first glimpse at Mummy Long Clicks, presumably the main antagonist of the second chapter. The trailer opens with a pink hand, now known to belong to Mummy Long Clicks, snatching antagonist of the first chapter, Huggy Wuggy, pulling him off screen. Mummy Long Clicks narrates the eerie trailer which previews a new green hand, instead of Poppy Playtime's red grab pack hand, and gives a preview of gameplay for the upcoming chapter. Mummy Long Clicks creepily describes the player as a new playmate, hinting at her nefarious intentions for the game's protagonist, suggesting the player is the fly she intends to entangle in her web. Poppy Playtime fonts? The rise that a new character appearing in the second chapter, referred to as Mammy Long Clex, is based on a popular doll from the 90s, named Betty Spaghetti. Both characters feature a curled swoop in the front of their hair, with a side ponytail featuring tendrils of hair, long arms wearing bangles, and large eyes with painted on eyelashes. Most interesting, though, is Betty Spaghetti's interchangeable body. Many suggest that Mummy Long Clegs may change forms at some point in the game, considering the trailer displays her as Alma's delighted that the main character is present, while she is meant to be an antagonist. This is extremely similar to the terrifying changes of Poppy Playtime Chapter 1's antagonist, Huggy Wuggy whose theories suggest he may be an experiment of Playtime Company. The trailer doesn't reveal much else about Mummy Long Clicks, besides the threatening character referring to the player as a playmate and the implication that she sees other toys in the factory as her children. Speculations on her actual purpose in the second chapter are widespread, and fans are excited to explore Playtime Company once again. The new chapter may provide even more aspects that wow players and allow the indie horror series to excel. In the future, the studio wants to release the remaining chapters of Poppy Playtime one by one, and as they are passed, the player will get closer and closer to the sinister mystery of Playtime Corporation.
Mummy long legs in real life or in X form is finally ready! If you like it, thumbs up and write down in the comments what character should I sculpt in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye-bye!